நமஸ்காரம் வணக்கம் நமஸ்தே டு திகுருஸ் ஆடியன்ஸ் டுடே வி வில் டேக் அப் அ டாபிக் ஆஃப் திஸ் கமிங் குஜராத் அசம்பிளி போல்ஸ் அட் த அவுட் சைட் ஐ ஷுட் சே ஐ ஆம் நாட் அ செப்பாலஜிஸ்ட் ஆர் ஐ டோன்ட் ஹவ் எனி மேஜர் ரிசர்ச் வாட் ஒன் கேன் கால் பேஸ்ட் அவுட் புட் அவைலபிள் சர்வேஸ் நத்திங் லைக் தட் பியூர்லி பேஸ்ட் அப்பான் மை ஓன் uh inferences of course i do have a large number of ex students spread all over the country who provide me with some time interesting information about what is happening in their locations and other thing so also in gujarat of course i had a earlier relationship with gujarat in terms of being on the board of some of the major companies and other thing anyhow this is uh, more of a concern and uh, forecast rather than wish i think we should distinguish between wish and forecast large number of people don't do that in the process uh, they begin to express their wish as a forecast which we don't want to do at the outset let me say my wish is that uh, bjp comes back to power in gujarat let that be very very clear but i am having large amount of concerns about it let's uh, look at some of those uh, issues uh, which uh, are significantly uh, a daunting issues for them first some preliminary numbers the approximate number of voters is 4.9 crores who are going to exercise their franchise in the coming assembly poll and interestingly first time voters are roughly 3.3 lakhs the first time voters are very very important how many of them will have the uh, type of uh, you know memories or long time uh, you know uh, uh, recollections about the bjp government bjp has been in power nearly 30 years 27 28 years let's be very clear about it so many of the first time voters may not even know about uh, what all took place in 2001 and 2002 they might have just born or very very young at time 182 seats you require to get 92 and last time let's be clear bjp got only 99 it didn't even cross 100 much later of course they managed to put together and uh, come to power the scheduled caste are 13 and scheduled tribes are 27 totally 40 seats are belonging to the listed communities this is something at the last time modi did a blitzkrieg several type of uh, bombardment several type of tornado visits and other thing but after all that only 99 was subtract but in the parliamentary poll they swept in the sense uh, bjp got 26 out of 26 so very interesting thing that mean the people are not uh, you know are able to distinguish between assembly and parliament as in many other states the results are not necessarily identical or anything there are large number of uh, of course sc 13 27 we told and muslims constitute roughly 9 to 10% of the population now there are large number of uh, concerns uh, in the bjp camp according to me one is the you know 27 year is too a uh, too long a period there is a weariness comes and uh, there is also built in type of uh, issues of nepotism corruption and all the thing so you have your own uh, uh, groups you have your own formulations and other thing so the internal dissensions are significantly higher there are lot of resentment a uh, lot of people are denied ticket or lot of people who are given ticket are not liked by others so many other ex ministers including chief ministers are telling they are not contesting the election and uh, and other than that there are many administrative issues for instance uh, paper leaks i'm uh, getting uh, government exams you know government chakri is one of the important thing for many people and uh, that is uh, getting postponed uh, or uh, not uh, held and uh, electricity is uh, one of the highest in the country actually south gujarat uh, chamber of commerce which is very sober and uh, which is not very you know actively against the government 
but they even feel that uh, seven and a quarter rupee for uh, the uh, meter uh, based uh, reading per unit is uh, relatively very high compared to Maharashtra Telangana they would like the uh, rate to be brought down this is one of the major and interesting issue other than that of course unemployment uh, inflation and other thing and even uh, uh, land acquisitions have uh, become uh, phenomenally problematic with a large amount of contention and uh, schools and uh, health centers are not as good as roads I am given to understand which I have traveled in the earlier part of the century have been excellent but I am given to understand in the last uh, six seven years they have not been maintained well and uh, many a places the local municipality or corporation is not spending enough amount on them last so this is something and uh, most important thing there are three major players now BJP Congress and uh, AAP if you go back to the 90s actually JDS was one of the major players in the 90s Janata Dal they got some 70 and BJP some 68 if I remember and uh, Congress some 35 or something but uh, over a period of time it became bipolar in the sense BJP and uh, same was the situation in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and other places. Some of you may not even recall in the 90s uh, Janata Dal used to be a major force in some of these states. The erstwhile socialist party which uh, but over a period of time that got uh, uh, so diluted and only Congress and the BJP were opposing each other. Now the third fellow has entered that is AAP and uh, Kejriwal is not uh, somebody who can be wished away. First of all he is only 54 or 55 if I remember correctly and in our Indian uh, politics that is a very young, young age in Europe uh, youth means 16 to 24 in India it is up to 80. For instance DMK used to have Stalin as the uh, youth leader when he was uh, in his early 70s and uh, now his son who is I think in the uh, late 40s or whatever it is he is heading the so the definition of youth is different and so from that point of view Kajariwal if he is 55 he has got another 15 years at least to go in politics 2000 he started kindly remember in terms of that Parivartan and uh, in uh, uh, part of Delhi to improve the electricity supply and water and other thing and slowly then uh, uh, you know uh, act, what they call the uh, <clears throat> group against corruption got formed he and uh, Kabe, you know this uh, Bedi Kiran Bedi and uh, Yadav and a couple of others and that uh, you know had this uh, Anna fasting on a very large scale and uh, there was a huge uh, protest against corruption he became uh, a popular leader Baba Ram Dev Sri Sri Ravi Shankar so many other people also jumped into that VHP and uh, uh, BJP gave a significant amount of support from the background and uh, <coughs> sorry Anna fasting became so much uh, uh, capturing the imagination of people so after that uh, Kajriwal slowly began to emerge as a major leader and uh, I should share a personal uh, anecdote with you or rather uh, we were working on this black money report that time myself and a committee was there with Ajit Dawal, Guru Murthy and uh, Mahesh Jetpalani and others on we submitted the report to Adwani and uh, there were a lot of meetings and other thing in Delhi in one of the occasion I had uh, I had an occasion to meet with uh, Kejriwal one to one something for a period of 45 minutes to one hour he was very very clear that he will never enter into politics he told me professor I swear on my children's head and I told don't do all those things and uh, and I jokingly told him whoever says they will never enter into politics finally lands up in politics anyhow he is a very interesting character in Indian politics and he is extremely slippery I can tell you and shrewd and uh, he's got his own uh, 
methods and calculation. He was a you know Indian Revenue Service person and IIT Kadakpur and uh, he's not uh, somebody who is can be pushed away. He knows what he is talking about. Some of the others uh, with him I have left him like your uh, uh, Yadav, you know, Yogendra Yadav or uh, all these people. But it doesn't matter to him. He is carrying on and uh, he is positioning himself as a very interesting middle person. He is not, uh, for instance, uh, the recent, uh, you know, uh, Bilkes Banu or, uh, you know, this uh, Lau Jigad and other thing, including that of the very recent uh, one of the Shraddha, that lady got uh, cut into pieces and he has not made any comments. He just keeps quiet and other thing. And uh, you cannot accuse him of being a uh, anti-Hindu or anything. It won't sell. I can tell sincerely. Nobody will believe it. He cannot be considered as uh, equated with uh, some uh, AIMM, MIM leader or something like that. It's not possible. He is a very shrewd person. He plays uh, uh, his game uh, separately. And uh, for instance, the way he went uh, into Punjab and then got significant number of support and other thing is something very, very interesting. He uses SMS to select CMs. At least that's what he claims. Anyhow, the uh, emergen, why it is important for him, Gujarat is, he is already in three states. Delhi, Goa and uh, yes, uh, Punjab. If he gets significant number of seats in Gujarat, if he establishes himself in Gujarat, it will be the fourth state. Fourth state means he will become a national party. Then it would be possible for him to get into other fields and areas. So, do not try to brush him aside or anything. And after all, he is won uh, Delhi several times. If I recall, maybe three times or. At last one was phenomenal. Huge number in terms of the uh, seats which he obtained and other things. Of course, there are a lot of cases uh, against his uh, ministers and uh, corruption. And, and I can tell one thing. This corruption is uh, not anymore flying because somehow people are of the opinion that almost all leaders are corrupt. So there is nothing specific in terms of. And earlier, for instance, 2G, uh, that 1,75,000, so many zeros, that A Raja is happily moving around. Nothing is happening to him. He is also a member of parliament and he is sitting in the. Uh, what do you call the speaker chair sometime is in that panel or whatever it is. So you can imagine the uh, type of uh, uh, what to credibility people give it to corruption charges. So to that extent that uh, his assistant are corrupt or anything is not going to fly. Second is, he is very very uh, cautious in terms of positioning his uh, party. He is positioning his party as a alternative to uh, BJP, not uh, significantly against Congress or anything. And uh, important point I want to mention here, Congress in spite of all its, uh, you know, what one can call uh, issues and problems and other things, roughly 38 to 40 percent uh, vote share it is always having. Even when it had only uh, 35 to 40 MLAs and other. This is something and now this is one of the major election, if I am right, where the uh, Rahul Gandhi and other people are not uh, you know, making any uh, significant amount of uh, rallies and uh, support and other things. It's on its own. And I am told they are silently working home to home and other things. And uh, there seem to be significantly less amount of dissidents within Congress compared to the top uh, BJP, which is natural because people who hold power people who have been in power for a long period of time, the you know aspirations of uh, uh, the candidates and other thing will be relatively high. Of course, compared to 38-40% of Congress, BJP is having some 46-47% in terms of popular votes uh, as of uh, last time. This is something which uh, we can uh, remember. And uh, AAP, how it is, it has made some inroads, so let's be very clear about it. Surat it got uh, 27 uh, seats in the local corporation and in uh, uh, near Ahmedabad uh, it got 20 percent, 21 percent of the 
uh, votes. It's not very uh, easy to reject it. It got only one seat. But it is ability to be a vote cutter is relatively very high. And I am, whatever little I understand, I have been given to understand, AP will get more of BJP votes rather than that of Congress votes. So it is not going to be uh, very beneficial for anti-BJP uh, front or anti-BJP parties or anything. So the earlier polls all used to be uh, wearing around anti-Congress. Anti-Congress front used to be formed in Madhya Pradesh in 1967 itself it was formed. Interestingly in those days uh, Jansen and CPA were in the same uh, coalition government in MP. That's an old story. But now slowly it has uh, become in terms of anti-BJP. BJP is uh, one uh, sort of a poll and uh, anti-BJP is another poll. So there is a enormous amount of uh, uh, dissatisfaction again BJP. Let it not be uh, brushed under the carpet. It's going to face and uh, people distinguish between assembly polls and uh, parliament polls. <laughs> Last time I remember that Vasavya, you know, the tribal party leader, one seat or two seat fellow, he became suddenly an important uh, uh, part of uh, decision making. I only hope uh, some clear cut majority is given. But I am uh, increasingly feeling that AAP will have a significant amount of impact. But between today and uh, uh, January, uh, sorry, December 1st, when the poll take place, much water can flow in the uh, uh, river. And uh, what is that type? For instance, uh, I am sure PM will make a significant number of uh, tornado visits in order to sway the voters. And as far as the Gujarat uh, people are concerned, many of them consider Modi to be their CM, not uh, any local. It's very unfortunate that uh, this uh, Modi Amit Shah leadership is more like a banyan tree. It's not allowing any uh, local leaders under the tree itself to grow immediately. For instance, in Gujarat, they have changed the chief minister so many times. It doesn't give a good amount of credibility or anything. That is one thing. Except in Assam and in the south in Tamil Nadu, where the local leaders are, and of course UP is a separate case, where Assam and uh, Tamil Nadu, the local leaders are phenomenally gaining power and influence because they are much away from the banyan tree and maybe banyan tree also doesn't really uh, worry about it or anything. It is very important that the next generation leader should be focused and next generation leader should be uh, brought to the front. In uh, many states like your uh, uh, Gujarat, uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Rajasthan and several other states. It's a important thing. Second is encourage people to grow. There is, a, for instance, there is a, a what, what one can call a, a sort of a cold war between a, a, the, a, the transport and a, a roadways minister Gadkari and the a, PM. That is what is the perception. It is not required actually. One can have uh, one's own uh, leadership styles and patterns in different uh, places and different parts. But unfortunately, uh, the uh, combination of uh, Modi and uh, Amit Shah has become too big and uh, too uh, large and uh, banyan tree for it to accommodate other type of uh, uh, younger leaders to come up on other things. That is another dimension of the issue. So Gujarat is going to be a very, very interesting uh, thing. Again, let me repeat, last assembly, they got only 99 seats. I hope they cross 100 this time. One. Second is, uh, AAP uh, doesn't, uh, of course, many of the forecast is telling AAP will get 0, AAP will get 1 and I don't uh, give much credence to those uh, uh, forecasts. They were telling in AAP is not at all a force in Punjab and uh, anyhow. So AAP has arrived. Let's be very clear about it. They have arrived at the uh, regional level and I am sure they will uh, grow into national level because of several type of an attraction with the face. They are not first of all a family based uh, type of a 
entity. They have got their uh, network and other thing. That they are corrupt is not some news for me. If you if you if you say some politician is not corrupt, then that is a major news, uh, major headline news for me. Not that uh, he is corrupt or anything. So they have come. They are going to be a very important uh, factor, very important force. And he is playing his cards very nicely. You see, he doesn't beat with uh, power and uh, he doesn't want to be associated part of this uh, Mahagadabandhan Nagarati. He is uh, building himself as an independent uh, power block and a pole opposing the central and he is taking a middle position only. You cannot accuse him of being excessively secular or excessively communal. He is not uh, getting into those uh, aspects at all. And uh, he is very uh, savvy. For instance, he says in Gujarat that up to 300, uh, uh, what is that, uh, what is his promise, 300 units. That is a very great boom in the context of the significantly higher power tariffs which are being faced in the, it could sway the people or, uh, of course, many people say Gujaratis are not going to be swayed by this thing. And in between this, UCC was uh, talked about in Gujarat. I am not sure how. Uh, beneficial it is going to be because UCC will have impact on the asset holding patterns of uh, HUF as well as income tax issues pertaining to HUF and large number of Gujaratis uh, do business through HUF. So I do not know how much uh, they are able to be carried along. I only hope it's a passing phase and it's not going to be a uh, major uh, point of uh, discussion in the Gujarat polls. Gujarat poll is essentially between what you may loosely call local and global. Global is of course uh, uh, Modi ji, who is also perceived as the uh, CM of Gujarat. He talks about a twin engine actually, there is only one engine because the local leaders uh, do not uh, uh, matter at all. At some point of time I jokingly asked for the ministers in your cabinet, many friends of mine in Gujarat were laughing. They say nobody knows about themselves. Anyhow, so that is a very, very tricky situation. God forbid, if by chance BJP doesn't do well in Gujarat or doesn't uh, uh, go up to the expectation, it will have a significant amount of uh, uh, repercussions. Next in uh, Karnataka and of course for the Lok Sabha. Kindly note, Lok Sabha, they got 26 out of 26 in uh, Gujarat. Can that be repeated? That is another thing. In Karnataka also, they got uh, significantly very high, 25 out of 28. Whether uh, that can be repeated in 2024 is another issue. Karnataka, they are facing already uh, severe type of uh, uh, anti-incumbency and various other that we will cover separately. So, the performance of BJP in Gujarat is extremely important. And in between, of course, they are talking about MCD elections in Delhi and other things. That's a separate, uh, I do not think uh, that will have a, and uh, Delhi anyhow is, uh, let's be very clear, as of now, is uh, Kajariwal's forte. And uh, whatever uh, is carried about him and other things, I don't think Delhi citizens take it very seriously. So let's uh, wait and hope that first and fifth uh, uh, polls in uh, Gujarat uh, bring good uh, news for BJP. Otherwise, it is going to be a major issue for the whole country. Thank you. Thank you very much.